Time for your COVID questions. And tonight, we're focusing on a source of anxiety for a lot of people, finances. And while the questions are specific, I think there is a wider relevance to a lot of them. So let's bring in our two personal finance commentators, Rabina Ahmed Huck and Preet Banerjee. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thank you, Ian. And Rabina, let's start with you. Here's the question. How can I speak to my landlord about rent issues without putting myself in a position to possibly be evicted? Uh, well, there is no federal rent relief program for residential tenants right now. That really has been put on the provinces. So if you live in a province where there is some rent relief, you should be taking advantage of that if you are in some financial distress. Uh, most provinces and territories have put a moratorium on eviction, so you don't need to worry in the immediate term for that. Uh, but definitely the best advice I could give is speak to your landlord or your property management company. One property management company that I know here in Toronto has a COVID-19 plan in place. They're allowing tenants to pay 50% of the rent now and 50% down the road when they get their job back. That helps the tenant out by not getting themselves in too much debt and helps the landlord out being able to pay their overhead costs like mortgage, utility if they're responsible for it, and property taxes. And of course, here we are, May 1st, beginning of the month, so those conversations likely are going on right across the country. Uh, Preet, let, let's turn the focus slightly to uh, commercial rent. The question, how can the new commercial rent assistance program help my small business? What if it isn't enough? Yeah, great question. A lot of landlords and tenants have this exact question because the criteria to be eligible is pretty strict. The small business has to show a 70% decline in revenues. And if they qualify, they could get potentially 75% of their rent reduced. But it's actually the landlord that has to make the application. And the landlord themselves then also has to eat 25% of the normal rent. And the remainder gets covered by the funds provided by the government. So because it might be tough for some businesses to qualify, what you might be able to do is still negotiate directly with your landlord. That doesn't have to fall under the purview of any of these programs. You can negotiate. And similar to what Vina said, be proactive and talk to your landlord about what your options are. Maybe you can work out a special arrangement. All right, Rubina, here's a, a very specific question. I'm a single mom living in housing with no child support because the father was laid off. What are my options? Uh, so one of the options is to see if you qualify for the CERB. That would definitely help you out with $2,000 uh, up to 16 weeks in four week periods. Um, you can also see, because your problem is probably cash flow, so you can see what can you uh, defer. So that could be your mortgage, it could be speaking to your utility companies about deferring some of the payments or going on a payment plan. If you drive, take your car off of insurance. If you're not driving that vehicle right now, auto insurance companies are giving that break as well. So really dealing with immediate cash flow, prob cash flow problems is the first thing that you need to do and speak to, uh, um, uh, speak to you know the the fact that uh, there are benefits available for children, especially parents. There is that extra up to three hundred dollars per child that is coming uh, with the CCB, and that's automatic. If you already get the CCB, uh, you will be getting that uh, up to three hundred dollars in the May payments. Yeah, you know, there's a lot that's interesting there, including the car insurance thing. A lot of cars are sitting out front of houses or in garages, uh, not being used, right, and still paying insurance uh, on those. Uh, Next question, my maternity leave is coming to an end. Will I be able to get EI if I can't work because of COVID? Yeah, another common question. And the good news is, you know, if your maternity period ends and you're unable to find work, then you will fall under the category of someone who has stopped work due to COVID-19 and you would be eligible to apply for the CERB, which again pays the $2,000 per month. Uh, again, subject to the other criteria, which is, you know, you had income of 5,000 in 2019 and the other regular criteria for the CERB. All right. And Robina, will this period of unemployment affect my chances of getting a mortgage in the future? Uh, when you go and apply for a mortgage, uh, the lender is going to look at your financial situation, how much debt you're in, how you've been able to make your uh, debt payments, whether that be on your credit card, your utility company. Uh, so if you are going into debt and missing payments, then absolutely it could affect your ability to get a mortgage. Also, if you've seen your income drop, that is going to affect your ability to get a mortgage. So all of the things happening now may not have a direct impact on your, on your credit score, but definitely when you go and apply for a mortgage, Mortgage, they are going to look at those factors before they lend you any money for a house purchase that you might want to make. Really nice hearing from both of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.